when you thought I wouldn't be in airport again in 2023, you are absolutely wrong. We are going to Virginia again. Good morning, everybody. Um, I look, why do I look so crazy? <sighs> okay. Um, it's the next day and we are gonna go help set up the baby shower. It's my friend's baby shower, I don't know if I said that. And I need to steam my dress cause, mm, I ain't looking right, it's back there. All right guys, this is the look for the shower. Um, it's in a country club, so I couldn't go too like sexy, I personally feel like. Um, so I have this silk dress on and I put a cardigan over it. Um, simple makeup, uh, simple jewelry. Um, this is the dress. It's like a little silk dress. I actually wear this in Jamaica. And it's actually backless. <laughs> but I covered it with that and I'm wearing my um my Amina um, Mwadi butterfly shoes and my dumb ass forgot to bring a purse so I'm only gonna take my phone and film off my phone okay. I do actually Please. all right guys so we came back from the baby shower and now we're gonna go to the girl's house that's having the baby and hang out and drink. Um, she won't be drinking, obviously, she's having a baby. And that's gonna be the whole night, I think. First of all, I'm so late for yoga. It's Saturday morning, but I had to show you guys my new aloe yoga mat i this mat is expensive honey i've never bought such an expensive yoga mat in my lifetime oh my god it's so heavy that's how you know it's good wait this mat was 128 dollars okay however i go to yoga once to twice a week so i feel like it's worth the investment okay wow and did i get in hot pink absolutely also my yoga class starts in like 25 minutes and it takes about 20 minutes for me to get there so i need to go but this is this is the map <laughs> I did some errands and now I'm ready for dinner. Um, this is an impromptu dinner. We're going to STK in uh, Midtown um, with my cousins. And this is just so unplanned and last minute. Um, this is the beat. This is the dress. Um, we're gonna go out and hang out, man. Let's go. Fucked up generally. Oh. Well, go ahead.
it's my age catching up with me or what. But it is. Oh, my clip fell down. It is 11:37 on a Saturday night. 11:37, and I'm going to bed. I'm gonna take this makeup off and go to bed. Guys, I'm literally getting ready to go on a dinner date right now. Like I'm dressed, but I'm like halfway through my makeup. But I made pine tarts today, and oh. I'm trying to get them out before I go on my date and like my date my date's coming to pick me up in like 20 minutes and maybe he'll get some pine tart but they need to cool down and I'm such in a rush I haven't vlogged properly this weekend and I made pine tart it is the eve of Christmas Eve and I don't know why I woke up with a cough congested I mean I haven't felt great in the last like two days but woke up with everything like hurting i had a headache and i think my headache is from drinking last night like i went out with my friends but i had like two glasses of champagne and one mystery shot i don't know what was in the mystery shot the bartender just brought it over that could be the culprit i don't know why am i drinking two to three drinks and having a headache the next day is this like a look into 30 also i woke up with so many pimples that's why i have like this portion of a mask on to especially this one over here girl but it's the eve of christmas eve i went shopping i got a bunch of things i am almost done cleaning up my room like those containers need to be thrown away um i do need to make my bed but i'm pretty much done with my room um new vanity pretty much ready um oh and i have to put my new area rug down which i already got it's downstairs i just need to bring it up um and then i'm going to the gym so you know work on this body i've been lacking i've been not doing enough and frankly i need to get it together also i went to dinner i went to dinner last weekend we went to sdk and they had you know some restaurants will have like a candle on the table but it'll be a fake candle they had real like tea like candles and my purse burned like the strap this was together you know burned but the rest of the purse is fine and honestly this is not a purse that i like care a whole lot about so it's fine but girl the like smoke alarm was going off it was it was a scene this, my skin's been going through it and my friend got me a for real a bear for christmas this is the there's the mini and the regular size this is the regular size so you could go in with your microcurrents on your face and i need all the help to anti-aging help i can get so i'm going on a trip next weekend for new year's and i got some bottega shoes just because <laughs> just because i wanted to and I bought them online so I didn't like try them on in store which I shouldn't have but I thought they would be so this is the color and it like wraps around the ankle I thought that they would be like a little more tan than this this is like milky creamy colored I thought it'd be a little bit more tan but I'm okay with this and it goes with my outfit and I'll obviously like a color like this you could wear forever with with anything the next thing I got for myself was this Calvin Klein robe and when I tell you she's like so buttery and soft I'm so excited to like take a full shower and put this on tonight and um, are we surprised that she's pink I feel like I don't strike people as like a pink girl, but I am a pink girl just in like certain ways. Like I won't come out wearing all of her pink, but like 
my little personal things like it's a problem even i actually bought these a while ago and i haven't opened them i haven't worn them um which is like so i don't know why i did i just don't know why i didn't but i actually went to buy you know the platform uggs that you see all the girls wearing but when i tried them on i just feel i have a big foot so i just feel like they looked crazy when i tried them on but then i saw these and they looked so stinking cute like i think these are so cute look at these i think these are so cute are you kidding me and i've never seen these like um like on Pinterest or Instagram or anything, which is where I'm usually looking for inspo. So stinking cute. And they are comfortable, obviously, um, even though they have a little heel. I Maybe I'll wear these today if I go out later. So, so cute. Honestly, I have no idea what happened. Like, I went to the gym. Um, don't talk about it, please. I went to the gym and then I came home I had breakfast and I just like I fell asleep for like five hours and I think it's because I'm semi sick and I don't really understand what's going on it's like 7 p.m. on a Saturday night right now and I woke up like an hour ago and took a shower I have pastries to make for Christmas because I promised my friends I would make pastries and also I need to like like cook myself a meal like cook myself dinner cook something for tomorrow like i'm not cooking anything crazy for christmas but like i need to cook something and make these pastries and the pastries are gonna take like two three hours so i'm gonna go do that now also a friend just dropped off a gift for me and i already know what it is because i kind of asked for this it's um Burberry Her perfume. So I have I have this one and I love this one. And clearly I'm on the last last. That's why I needed a re-up. But I think that he got a different one, a different like iteration of it. And girls, by the way, I know everyone is trying to buy the Baccarat Rouge 540. The Burberry Hurt, that one in the clear bottle, in the clear pink bottle, smells extremely similar to Baccarat Rouge. As a matter of fact, when I wear it, I get so many compliments on it, and people think that it is Baccarat Rouge. So, and if you buy just the perfume alone, I think it retails for $100. And that amount in the MFK 540, the Baccarat Rouge, for that amount of perfume, you're probably paying like $350. So that's a tip for you. And I promise you, it smells so, so similar. Okay, okay, this is the pink one. This is this bottle. Nice. I think this is Burberry Her Elixir, it's called. Yeah, Elixir de Parfum. Mm. this bottle smells like he um feels like heavier but it's the same size as this yeah it's the same size mm. i'm gonna put some on just to like see how it wears because i i don't know what this smells like it definitely it's definitely on the sweet side mm it's super sweet and i'm not like a sweet smelling girl regularly but for some reason this one i enjoy let's go cook and make my pastries and my boobs are like i'm i'm sick i'm sick and i'm in denial and this lighting i'm using my phone this lighting is not working for me <laughs> what the fuck is this the french don't do that it was lovely i i i, I learned this because when i flew and i realized 
as me, but when but what I've learned in sobriety. If somebody too, sat down with me and asked me a question about you, it would never come up. But, but let me say this. I don't get mad when people look at things that I've gone through and have opinions because I've chosen to live my life in the public. Mm -hmm. So you guys, it's Christmas Eve and I'm taking my mom to dinner. Um, every Christmas we always go out at least once and like look at Christmas lights, have dinner, hang out. This is what I'm wearing. It's like um, a mint green dress. And so we got a black jacket and my Fendi purse. <laughs> morning guys and merry merry christmas um clearly in my pajamas um these are just regular pajamas i didn't buy them for christmas and i already it's already like three o'clock in the afternoon what time is it it's 2 33 and i have lived several lives i got up i had breakfast i've been messing around spending time with my mom and my cousin actually just dropped me a gift and I don't know what it is, but I thought I'd open it on camera. So let's see. This tape is strong as hell. It's a coach purse! Cute. It's probably like a crossbody. Cute! Oh, it's like a little, um, like wallet on a string. Cute. I love tiny purses. This is cute. Oh, cute. It has a little... It has sea char a sea charm and a snowflake. Super cute. Thank you, Kai. Christmas day to put down my new area rug absolutely so I could feel brand new <laughs> hey guys it's New Year's Eve and I just got ready and I didn't really have plans since um, Vegas was cancelled but I'm gonna go out for a few drinks and break in the New Year's with a couple of friends nothing nothing really planned nothing crazy and this is what I'm wearing, this silver halter top that I've worn before and just like some black cargo pants and some regular like black uh, strappy heels. Nothing new, nothing extraordinary and I did some basic makeup with a red lip and I blew out my hair. Happy New Year. <laughs> Alright guys, it's about to be midnight. It's like 12.41. Um, I just took a step away from the party. Um, I'm going back in. I just want to say Happy New Year. 2024 is about more money, more progress, all, all the things. More fitness, everything. More living life, more traveling. All the things. Like, I am so grateful. I had... A very challenging year in 2023, but I still had the most fun I've ever had in my life. And 2024, we're just gonna turn it up even more. Happy New Year.